Hi everybody, I'm Simon. Welcome to the channel. Now, I haven't done any bar stories or tips and tricks from 15 years ago when I was a bar manager in Pattaya, Thailand. For two years I managed um, a bar, two bars for a Thai lady and her husband. And I did a load of videos that started this channel off with tips and tricks from my days. The channel's moved away from that, um, doing various other topics. But I'm now getting so many emails from you guys asking for my opinion as an ex-bar manager, my opinion after being married to a Thai person, Thai woman for coming up 15 years. And these emails are nearly every day emails from you guys. So today I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna revisit, go back, put my bar manager head on and have a think about trying to answer a common email I get. So let's call this video, You Don't Love Me Anymore. <laughs> and this is common from a bar girl, a girl who works in the entertainment zone, whether it's a go-go bar, a hostess bar, a beer bar, even a soap massage or a massage. A guy comes along and starts dating a beautiful woman here in Thailand from one of those bars. The dating carries on, it gets a bit more serious and then the inevitable whereas the foreigner has to go back home. He's not of an age for retirement or he's not in a position financially to come and live here. Maybe he's still married back home but he's not in a position where he's, he's moved here as an expat he might be in the future and he goes home and I've done these the videos about long distance relationships but several videos especially over the last few weeks where guys are having problem with communication with the girls by email by Skype by WhatsApp by line messenger the list goes on and the girls are saying, you don't love me anymore. You're not sending me enough money. The emails coming in are, I've known this girl, let's be generous, a year. We've been dating a year. I've been to Thailand a few times and we've had the long distance relationship for a year, but the girl's not happy because she can't see me moving there shortly maybe you're moving there in a year or two's time but the girl's not happy and she's emailing all the old emails I need money I need money and the guy's saying look I'm on a maybe a low income or I don't want to send you money I'll bring money when I come and see you or sends a small amount each month and the girls start turning and start trying to put the pressure on by saying you don't love me anymore you don't want me you don't take care of me properly you've given me money to leave the bar I'm back in my village working uh, in the local salon supposedly all these stories all of them alarm bells around all of it has the girl got 10 boyfriends she's emailing but I'm getting these emails every week and I can't answer them because things have changed in the entertainment zone over the last 15 years. I haven't seen it firsthand. The girls, a quick visit. You saw the video, I did a visit to Patia 12 years off since I've been there. And the girls are more like business girls now, more business-like everything, especially financial. The guys are coming, you guys are, falling in love with girls, starting a relationship all on the right foot, but the girl's starting to get demanding. And by pushing those buttons, you don't love me anymore. Trying to hit your heartstrings. Recently, I had an email from a guy, I won't say nationality, but a guy 
where he'd been dating a go-go girl for a year. She's still working in the go-go bar and he's been sending her 20,000 baht a month uh, on current exchange rates. You can work it out. It's a lot of money. And she's still working in a go-go in one of the side streets off Walking Street in Patia. So she's earning good money. And she's still working as a go-go bar going with customers, yet he still sends her 20,000 baht a month as his girlfriend. She says in her mails that she's only dancing and not going with customers. She's not doing service, but she's still dancing. And he tends to believe her. Let's give her the benefits of the doubt that she is just dancing. And here's 20,000 a month. And possibly, let's say on the low side, she's earning 10,000 baht a month. That's 30,000 baht a month coming in. She, according to his email, shares a room with other girls, which is quite common. A room maybe four or five thousand baht a month between several girls. So she has no outgoings. And he also says she has no children. She's only 22, 23 years old. From North East Thailand, let's just say, from the Isan area. And she doesn't have a huge family. But she's now saying that he doesn't love her anymore because she needs more money for living expenses. Very to the point. And when he's asked her about living expenses, the room price has gone up for the rent. I'm eating more food. Uncommon answers through his email. Family does need some help, has been mentioned. And she's, you don't love me anymore. When I ask you for more money, you should send it. What should he, what should he do? He's not coming back to Thailand uh, till later this year, so September, October time. And he sent me the email saying, Simon, what do you think I should do? Should I send her more money? Or should I stop sending her money and understand that maybe she has other boyfriends? I can't see because I'm on the other side of the world. Should I get a private detective to go and check on her? <laughs> what should he do? He even offered me myself money to travel to Pattaya to check up on her which I refused <laughs> I am not a private detective I will not be taking things any I'm not going down that path thank you very much other emails I'm getting are very similar it's the long distance relationship again this goes back to that video but this guy has sent me email quite a few times now and all I can say to him is, I can't help, I can't give you advice, I can give you what might be happening, and I can say that maybe she has other boyfriends, maybe she, maybe she has a Thai boyfriend that's demanding, maybe she's gambling, maybe she's doing some substances, maybe the family are pushing and pushing her for financial support, maybe she wants some new vehicles. It could be anyone of those replies, yet I can't give him the, he wants me to say, here's the magic answer. So if you do email me, I can only give you a wide response of what possibly could be happening on the other side of the world. But it's again, the long distance relationship. She speaks quite good English and he speaks quite good English. So. They chat and they chat every few days, always later, not early evening, always late evening or early hours of the morning, Thailand time, which causes a problem with his time zone. But they're always chatting and she's quite often bringing up the subject of money on these calls and quite often she's sad because she's asking for money and he said, I don't want to send you money. At the moment he's saying, I don't want to send you more money wait till I come wait till I come I'll be there September October and she's pretty much then cuts the call short in a bit of a strop and I've done the Thai stroppy women video other emails coming in 
I've met a beautiful woman in Phuket who works in a sort of go-go bar, coyote bar, open bar with poles where she dances. She is one of the paid dancers on the pole in a bikini. I think that girl's about 25 with a young daughter broken up from the Thai um, boyfriend. Similar story, money, and she is earning a lot more money down there in Phuket. And that guy is sending her more money, about 30,000 baht a month, if I recall correctly. And she's similar, asking for more money, constantly changing the requirement that whatever money he sends, she wants more, wants more. It's for the, for, in her case, it's for the child. Pulling on his heartstrings. <laughs> but he's due back very shortly, so I'm waiting for an update on his email, whether they stay together. A lot of emails, keep them coming because they generate a lot of information, update information for me on the type of what the girls are doing these days in the entertainment zones. But the girls, I don't love you anymore. Hit your heartstring. Give me more money. I need extra money. What for? Tips and tricks. As a bar manager, if you take this back 15 years, I had girls in the bar who would constantly ask me to do emails for them to their boyfriends. And if you go back to my videos, you'll see I refused to do it. But they then went up the road in Soy 7 to a little email uh, shop where a girl and a guy there would do their emails. And they would bring back printouts because every time they went to the email, they were paying money for printing all the emails out, paying them for answering the emails, giving them a cut if they got money. That little email cafe didn't make its money on the email service, it made its money on extracting money from people. Very bad, I was never gonna go into that. But they showed me the printouts and I sat many a time, many a day in the bar, reading these emails. And if you put five girls in front of me who used to work in the bars, and they had the same emails. This, this, this little shop must have had a template. Buffalo sick, <laughs> wheels broken on the car, uh, mum's ill, dad's ill, child's got clothes. I must have had a list, a huge long list of templates for need money, send this, need money, need money. Ah, does that still happen? I don't know. It's 15 years since I saw what that email cafe did. Do email cafes currently in the entertainment zones offer these services? And what would you call that service? To me, it's a, it's terrible. It's it's a very very bad ser uh, uh, service. You could even call it extortion. Yeah, it is. Are these email cafes totally Thai people working in there? No. So, who's working in them? Who's making money? Not good. But, <laughs> let's not go down to all that negative side, but there's a lot of that happening in the past. Does it still happen today? Have any of you got knowledge of that happening? What are they doing? How are they doing? Now remember, 15 years ago, it was all pretty new, the email systems and everything and nearly every Thai girlfriend that anyone had, had a Hotmail account and the password was 12345678 and the username was admin. Sometimes the password was the word password. The girls never twigged about changing it. <laughs> so if you've got a Thai girlfriend, check those. I've done a, I'm sure I've done a video about the email thing in the past somewhere. I really wish all of you luck. It, I would not like to be, in some ways, I would not like to be a single guy in 2019 in the entertainment zones looking for a long-term partner. It would be extremely hard, much harder to find that diamond. Advice, tip as a previous bar manager is don't get into the long-term relationship 
as in long distance relationship. If you're gonna start a relationship, wait till you get here. If you're gonna, if you fall in love with Thailand and you're gonna live here, you're in a much better position to take control of your emotions and relationships. But if you're doing it on a long distance base, that's gonna be hard. I only did it once and it broke, it broke pretty quick. But it's hard to fall in love with these girls, these women, so lovely and beautiful and they're just amazing. Women, it's so easy to lose your heart here. Oh. I can't give you any tips. Just be careful. I have said many times on videos, some good advice someone gave me was only invest in Thailand what you can afford to walk away from. That was great advice. Only invest what you can afford to lose. You never know what the countries could suddenly say, all foreigners out. And try not to be driven by your heart too much. <laughs> mm. Good luck. And if I get more emails, I'll do another video. They're fun. Take care, have a great day. Ah, uh, there's somewhere there at the end here a playlist of my old potato bar stories, so click that, have a look at those, see what you think. And by always, by, <laughs> I always love getting in the comments below and emails, land of smiles at Thailand, sorry, land of smiles Thailand at gmail.com. Sun's getting to me, it's so hot. Land of smiles Thailand at gmail.com. Email me or comments below. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the button wherever it is, join the team. See you soon, have a great day, weekend, week, and hopefully see you in Thailand soon. Bye for now.